My name is Thelma Goolsby. I have been at Shatterbrook f really for over 40 years. <laughs> when we first, before we even had a, a, a church building. So I've been here a long time. My name is Thelma Goolsby, and I have been at Shatterbrook for at least 40 years now. Uh, my name is Thelma Goolsby, and I have been at Shatterbrook from the very beginning. It's been my pleasure to be here from the very beginning. The city of Swanee would send us names of people that had moved into the, to the area, and we would go visit them. I visited many times, um, even as far as to places that are called Lawrenceville now, and the other direction too. So that was a lot of fun to see people. Sometimes we gave them um, brownies. And it, I still see people today here at church that I visited a long time ago. Shatterbrook has always been a community type church. Uh, in the beginning, uh, we had a lot of good things going on for the community. For example, one of the good things was we had um, a musical drama outside. Uh, this used to be where, where it's flat in a parking lot now was a big hill. And so uh, we had this uh, musical drama called uh, The Day I Wore My Crown, The Day He Grow Wore My Crown. And uh, I couldn't sing, but I was one of the Marys in there, so that was fun. And also, not too many years after that, we had another community thing. Uh, it was called Walk Through Bethlehem. And they, the whole little town of Bethlehem was set up outside and uh, with animals and uh, horses, all kinds of things. And um, it was wonderful. It was truly wonderful. We had people from all over come. People still ask me about it. I was the innkeeper's wife, so I just got to, got to say, we have no room. <laughs> but it was fun. And at the end, um, they visited with Mary and Joseph and a real baby. Uh, and then the people from there went to a, uh, a tent, and we told them about the gospel, about what Jesus did, and saw many people come to know him through that. It's just one of the many things that Shatterbrook has always done for the community. Shatterbrook was the first church in Gwinnett County to sponsor good news clubs. Uh, Shatterbrook sponsors four now, Monday through Thursday, in, in public schools after class. Right now, I think we have 182 children involved in good news clubs in our four clubs. So it's a wonderful ministry. Shatterbrook has also always been involved with the um, with the community around here, the like the police station and the firemen. They we would have times when they we would invite them to come to a lunch and celebrate them for what they've done to to the community. Everything is gospel centered, uh, actually, especially now we go through the Bible, you know, verse by verse so that people can understand the context and understand what Jesus really did for us and all the prophecies that Jesus has fulfilled through the years. It's really amazing. I wanted to get involved right away. So we, we were a military family and had moved a lot. I've been in a lot of different churches, a lot of good churches, and I was looking forward to being in one that was a startup you know, to start at the beginning. And so I always enjoyed that every time. Um, every time I got a chance, uh, being involved with women's ministry was good. Teaching women, or trying to teach women, or, or attempting to teach women was really good. So it's always been gospel-centered since the very beginning. We've only had three pastors. Yeah, that's amazing. In this time, at the beginning, uh, before we had much going on, on the hill here, we had Bible camps. 
for children in the neighborhood. I mean, we had children come from all over. And they weren't children that, uh, you know, were members here, but they came. And uh, it was wonderful to see children, you know, just just soak up the Word, really, just soak it up from the very beginning. It's still that way, still that way today. Well, I really didn't come into this thinking that I would do anything, actually. I just wanted to be part of it. And... Um, my favorite Bible verse that I keep going back to since for many, many years has been Psalm 115.1. Not unto me, Lord, not unto me, but to you belong all the glory. And that's all I want is to see God being given the proper glory that he deserves uh, for sending his son to us so that we, so that we would have a, a, a wonderful life now and an eternal life forever. The men of the church built this building. Those were all still buildings. It was a still building, and my husband uh, was one of those that would come after work and work late, uh, doing things, getting things ready. I remember sitting in the first little worship area that we had, and um, we had a choir, and they were so excited. Everybody was so happy uh, to be in a building. We had searched for one for, for a while, for a property for a while. And this was the perfect property. It, it had everything we needed. Property that could, where things could be expanded. We looked at, they, not we, not me, uh, the men, looked at property out toward Lawrenceville Swanee Road. And it was nice property because there was nothing here then. But it would not have worked. It would not have worked. It was a God thing because we would have been hemmed in. Here we've had room and, and ways that we can do things here with this property. It's been amazing, truly amazing. Our first pastor was Brother Ken. Our first pastor was Brother Ken. He was a wonderful man. He had come from a church, I think, near Lilburn and kind of volunteered. We had vacation Bible school right away. He was such a loving man. His wife was wonderful. Um, she was really part of the church, uh, helped us so much. Bobby Linkus was our youth minister, and then he became our pastor. Uh, he was wonderful, too. He was a young man then. Well, he's not too old now, but he was really young then. Very loving person, soft-spoken, gospel-centered guy. And then we had Brother Jared. He's our third pastor. We, on the pastor search... We listen to a lot of pastors. I mean, I can't even tell you the number. Maybe 50. I don't know. It was a lot. But he just stood out. He stood out above all of them because he really loved the Lord and wanted to see his work continue here. He came from California. He was the one we were meant to have to keep us going the gospel was definitely these men, men's main object, was to share the gospel with the people and to share it so that they would understand what Jesus did for them on the cross and that no one else could have ever done that for us except him. Uh, the only one that lived a perfect life, the only one who was willing to be the ransom to pay for our sins. It, it, yeah, it, was, it was wonderful. It's a very satisfying feeling to know that when you walk into this church that you're going to hear about Jesus and that everything that we do is to show Him 
to the people who come in. Who Did you know that it was called Old Swanee Town, that they had powwows here? Indians lived here on the Swanee Creek. And when, when we first moved here, um, we lived on, um, on a road uh, that backed up to where they were digging things and building things, found all kind of artifacts from Indians. And they would, they would actually come and they would have meetings here. It's really amazing. The history of Swanee is amazing. Yeah, we'll uh -huh. talk a little bit about it, a little okay. bit more. <laughs> okay. Um, well, it was called Old Swanee Town, and uh, Indians lived along Swanee Creek, and of course there was water there, and and they lived there pretty happily, I think, uh, because they would they would have their powwows and um, meetings there. Down by the railroad track, there was a... See, people used to come from Atlanta out here. Did you know that? Um, you, you know who Margaret Mitchell is? The one that walked on, wrote Gone with the Wind? She used to come out here. Yeah. Uh, you know where Old Town Swanee is right now? Mm -hmm. There was a big plantation there. And um, she would come out and uh, go on hay rides and things there. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so why is it called Shadowbrook? Oh, um, there was, right down by the railroad track, was a little uh, st station along the track where people would sit, and it was called Shadowbrook Station. And so people would ride out here from Atlanta, and visit. There's also by the railroad track right down there, there's a big hotel. It, uh, people would ride out to Swanee to go to eat at that restaurant. Now, now they build violins there. So there are a lot of interesting things about Swanee. I don't know the meaning of Swanee though. It was named after that station right there. Shatterbrook. Whose idea? It was more or less probably Brother Ken's idea to name it Shatterbrook after that train station down there. It was just really a little stop. You know, it wasn't a big thing. It was just like a bench. I'm still at Shatterbrook probably because I'm a stubborn old lady. And uh, I don't want to go anywhere else. There's no other place I'd want to be. Uh, now, there are a lot of churches around, uh, but they don't have what Shatterbrook has for me. I love this place. Always will. Um, I could have gone, could have gone to many places, uh, but I would not be happy, I don't think, anywhere else. I really don't. I hope and pray that Shatterbrook will continue to be a community-minded church that reaches out to people and draws them in because, because they love the people and want to, be, want to be everything to them that they've been to me. That's not good, is it? That's really good. Hey, you want to try it again? What I hope for Shatterbrook it is, is that it continues to be a community service-minded church who uh, draws people in to share the gospel with them because if there's ever a time that the, this area and the world needs the Lord, it's now. It's now. And we have a chance to make a difference. We should be making a difference.